Hello, I'm Tom Bailey, and in today's episode, I'll be getting to know Krishna Mohan, who is a seasoned executive, public speaker, number one best-selling author, and has been featured on Fox TV as well as other media outlets. He's also won the Global Visionary Award in 2020 and the Top 100 Tech Innovators and Influences in 2021. So Krishna, hello, and a very warm welcome to today's episode. Hey, very well. Welcome to you as well. Thank you so much uh, for this opportunity to, you know, to speak with you a little bit. Yeah. Excellent. Thank Thanks you so much for being here. And just out of interest, whereabouts are you in the world right now? Yeah, I'm actually uh, from Washington, D.C. Um, you know, things are pretty optimistic over here. Yes. Uh, how about you? How are things over there? Yeah, excellent. All good here in the UK. Thanks so much for asking. And I just want to share a little bit more about you before we did get started so krishna is a highly successful senior business leader who also has a background in business development sales key account relationship management and international business and over the last 24 years he has helped three fortune 500 companies and several startup organizations to generate millions of dollars in annual profits the title for today's episode is how to scale your business exponentially and krishna is going to show us how to do that in just seven minutes so question one for you is nice and simple. Who are your ideal clients or businesses that you typically work with? Yeah, my ideal clients are um, business owners. Um, these are, you know, growth oriented companies. These are companies who are having some innovative technology or coming up with some mm -hmm. great startup idea. And um, apart from that, we also have some solutions around uh, large organizations and, and we do consulting, uh, you know, for them on various aspects um, yeah fantastic and i guess there's a large range of businesses here but do you find there's one typical biggest challenge that they all face well i think most uh, business owners uh, constantly face the growth challenge um, you know basically revenue um, is is their key, key metric right mm -hmm. everybody yeah. is after revenues and um, i think uh, the second most important aspect apart from that is you know funding and financing for the business i think these are the two critical areas uh, we specialize on revenue growth strategies and then help these business owners to accomplish those those revenue go goals yeah yeah absolutely important and i guess those businesses that are stagnated and struggling to grow their revenue what mm -hmm. impact does that typically have on either the business owner or in fact the business well, the impact is significant, right? So it's going to affect their operations. It's going to affect their infrastructure and other investments they would want to do, mm -hmm. but they were unable to do because they they really are, you know, um, cash tight. You know, the cash flows are are, are the problem, and yeah. uh, and also um, the other thing here is uh, most business owners are just focused only on the front end of the business. You know, so yeah, revenues uh, are important, but at the same time, I would recommend a lot of these business owners to consider partnering with, you know, um, you know, complementary products. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there are several ways to actually get to that revenue goal. Uh, need not always be a sale. Yes. Sale is the end end outcome, right? But in the mean, in the meanwhile, you, sh you should start looking for strategic partnerships. You should mm -hmm. start looking at great resources. Um, who can you know become part of your company that can get you what you want, but um, but you cannot wait until you make a certain you know a revenue goal, and then look for these partners and then look for these great resources. I would suggest you should do all of these things simultaneously. Um, uh, yes, there are other you know financial uh, you know uh, challenges to invest in the business, but but it is what it is. That's the you know that's the that's the nature of the you know. Yeah, um, business growth. Everybody has to go through. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So, I guess advice there in summary is, you know, it's not just sales and revenue; it's also other opportunities to generate finance um, and avenues as well. Fantastic. So, mm -hmm. if somebody wants to find out more or they want to work with you, and um, do you have mm -hmm. any uh, go-to resources or links that you can share today to get? Back? Yeah, I think uh, uh, um, they could go to. Um, geniusbusinesscoach.com yeah. they could download my books so they get mm -hmm. you know um, several strategies that they could readily implement in their business um, you know to get to their you know revenue goals um, they can get ideas in terms of generating you know uh, traffic um, and they could get ideas towards uh, conversions and they can get some more ideas in terms of how they can position 
how they can come up with their market dominating position Excellent. and how they can craft their message. Um, and all of these things are very important, you know, mm-hmm. um, yeah. and, and they can download the book and read through all of this stuff. It's all out, out there on my website. Great. So that's geniusbusinesscoach.com. And I'll put that link into the show notes. People can click on that Mm -hmm. and they can dive right in and download that book. And then the Mm -hmm. next question then, obviously you've worked in lots of different industries and over the time, what would you say is one of your greatest failures or mistakes that you've made and what did you learn from it? Yeah. I mean, we, we failed many times, not just one time, but I would say most recent, uh, I I would say just last couple of years back, Mm -hmm. um, our e-commerce uh, venture was a was a was a failure that I would say is one of the big one I would say um, it just because um, uh, we we were way too optimistic in what yeah. we are doing um, and um, so much focus towards investing in marketing rather than organic growth. Understand. So um, you know you pump in a lot of money to all these you know short term conversion strategies. Mm-hmm. Um, losing track on profitability. Yes. Again, keeping an eye on the revenue. So you will do well on revenue, but you're not profitable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, because you're investing on marketing. Um, again, losing focus on organic growth. Got it. Um, I think those are the two biggest mistakes, I think, which I can attribute towards that uh, fiasco. Um, Absolutely, yeah. Uh, but then again, you know, we know how to come back. But, um, you know, we just switched our gears and just stayed on track to what we are good at. Yeah. And that organic growth is so important for that foundation of the business um, and after the investment runs out. Mm -hmm. So the last question from me today is what is one question that you think I should have asked you today, maybe about business growth that you think will add some great value to our audience? I I think uh, the, the most important question here is what is your vision? Yes. Yeah. What are you trying to accomplish, right? What are you after? Uh, everybody wants to make money, you know, that's okay, but you are in the business for to make money, that's also good. But what's your real vision? What are you really trying to build here, right? Are you trying to build a $100 million company in the next five years? Mm-hmm. Are you just trying to build a business just to, you know, have a safe, secure income that can yeah. get you, you know, uh, financial freedom and then get out of your nine to five job? Are you having this job so you can give back to your kids yes you know are you, so if you have the that plan i mean are you launching this so you could go to you know uh, uh public in the next three years mm-hmm. are, are you going to you know exit by selling this to a private equity firm what is your plan yeah that yeah. has everything to do with what you're going to do yeah. this year uh, and then that this quarter and then then you would um you know that's how you have to work on your plan. You don't work on your plan based on, hey, this is a great product. You know, people are crushing it. They're making big money. That I need to get into this and I make money. That, that's not the way. It's, it's the other way around. Yeah, I love that. So have that North Star vision that you're heading towards and that will drive everything else forward for you. So fantastic. Great advice to end on. Krishna, thank you again so much for your time today and bringing such great value to our audience. Thanks so much. I appreciate this, uh, you know, uh, Tom, have a great day.